Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the best categories for your KDP books. So there are two reasons why Amazon KDP categories are really important for your book. The first reason is that Amazon uses the category data to better understand your book, which will help you with your rankings on Amazon for your book. Reason number two is that shoppers on Amazon also browse categories instead of searching for keywords. So if they're looking for a specific kind of book, they can browse exactly the categories for the books that they're looking for. So if your book is in that category, especially in the top 100, then your book is likely to be seen by the shopper looking for a book. So when you first create your listing with Amazon KDP, it will allow you to add two categories for your book. But once your book is live, you can add eight more categories to your book. So you can have a total of 10 categories for your Amazon KDP book. And the more relevant categories you can have for your book, the more it will help you get more organic sales and better rankings on Amazon. So let's go into my computer and I'll show you how to find the best categories for your books completely free. So on my selfpublishingtitans.com website, you can just hover over KDP resources and click on KDP book category finder. So this is one of my brand new tools and there are actually lots of more tools coming within the next two, three, four, five weeks. All right, so my free tool is really easy to use. So you simply choose the country that you want to find a book category for. Then you select if your book is paperback or Kindle, and then you just start typing. So if you're trying to make a journal, you can just type in journal and scroll down. And then here you can see every book category that has the word journal in it. And then just choose the ones you think fit the best for your book. So here, so if it's a plain journal, journal writing, diaries and journals, journal writing, and maybe journalism and nonfiction would be the best categories. So you can see the exact category string right here, and then you can just add it to your Amazon KDP. So we can see it's books, children's books, education and reference, reading and writing, journal writing. And like I said before, you can have up to 10 categories. So keep typing in different keywords until you find the 10 categories that you'd like to have for your book. And then all you do is you email KDP and tell them the exact string for each category that you want to add for your book. So let me quickly show you how you can email KDP the categories that you want to add for your book. So we can go to the Kindle Direct Publishing website, just scroll down and click on Contact Us, then click on Amazon Store and Product Detail page, then click on Update Amazon Categories, and you'll see this little window come up. So for this email, you, you need to give them your ASIN or ISBN, the marketplace, the book format, and category. So if you want to use the journal writing category, you simply click on copy to clipboard and then you can paste it directly into this email. And then we can do the same thing with the next one. Copy the clipboard and paste directly into the email. And just keep doing that until you have all the categories you want for your book. And just follow how this example is. And once you have all your categories, just click on send message. And then within one to two days, KDP will normally update your book with all the categories. So this tool is really easy to use. It's fully free unlimited usage. Just You can use it for all your books, type in any keyword you want, and you can also use my free tool manually. So if you scroll down, you'll see all of Amazon KDP categories right here, and you can just simply click on the plus symbol, and all of the categories will expand. So you can also look for them this way and copy to clipboard, and as you will see, you have the full category string right here. So I hope this video has been useful for you, and I hope that you find my free tool really useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And as you know, I also give free support on Facebook. So if you have any other questions on how to use my tool or any problems you encounter with it, feel free to message me anytime, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, see you in the next video.